To enter a new injury in AT Genius, in this case we'll select the knee. You have three choices, the guided soap, the open soap, and the short note. The guided soap provides checklists for your injury evaluation. The open soap is for narrative documentation. And the short note is for a minor injury such as a contusion in which you may not want to write up a full soap. In this case, we'll select guided soap. We'll enter our injury details such as the sport, the level, the field location, the activity, the date of injury. Not all of these fields are required. The only required field is the red date of injury. However, if you plan to run reports later, it's recommended that you fill in as many fields as possible so that your injuries can be appropriately categorized for your reports. Next, we'll enter the SOAP note area. You'll see the four tabs, Subjective, Objective, Assessment, and Plan. We'll select the involved side, pain level, and their mechanism for injury. Next, we'll go to Objective. We'll enter where they're tender to palpation. Any observation notes, then range of motion. You can enter a specific limited range of motion. When you do that, note that the limited range of motion box gets automatically checked. Strength testing. your neurological and circulatory exam, then your special tests. You don't need to fill in each of these areas, only the tests pertinent to your evaluation. In this case, we'll indicate that the valgus stress test is negative for laxity, but it's painful. Back to the top, we'll go to assessment and type in our evaluation findings. Then to plan, we can indicate our treatment plan. their participation status, physician referral, communication. Perhaps you need to do an accident report or an insurance claim form. You can indicate here when that was completed. You can also indicate who you've notified regarding the injury. Best practices for athletic training documentation and some states may require you to indicate the estimated return to sport, estimated treatment frequency, and estimated treatment duration and measurable goals. AT Genius provides a quick way for you to do that. An easy measurable goal is pain scale. You'll notice picking up to six from what we entered in the subjective area earlier. And enter a date in which we intend to achieve that goal. You can see there's other measurable goals available as well. From there you hit save, which is really saving for later. You can still edit this SOAP note. However, once you sign and lock this SOAP note, it cannot be deleted or edited. However, you can then add progress notes and discharge notes, or even a reevaluation to this original SOAP note. If we go to main menu in recents, we'll select that patient. You'll note that there's not discharge indicated. That's because we selected out for the participation status. You'll notice an X button, which means this entry can still be deleted and an unlocked icon. However, however, once you sign and lock this record, that X will go away, which means you can no, no longer delete this record and it can no longer be altered. Uh, however, you can still add addendums such as progress notes, discharge notes, and reevaluations to the original SOAP.